Saturday afternoon, bang on five o'clock, right here, Bangkok VW. And right with the sun going down, about to go down behind Seacon Square, and I am back for the second edition of Bangkok VW. This is the VW scene by the train market. So you put the two together, you're gonna get something a bit special, a little bit epic. Last year, about this time last year, was the first edition, the first time the train market put a VW event together and it was mega. So one year later, exactly the same time, we're back for the second edition. Come to check it out and for sure, it's gonna have grown. And I would say that this could quite possibly be now the biggest VW event in Southeast Asia. Because the train market, if you've been here, you'll know it's a really kind of bohemian, kind of far out left field night market, exactly the same as VW appeals to owners. So on a normal night at the massive train market, you'll find loads of VWs. So already you've got the basis for the event right there. Then you actually put on a whole VW event and you're gonna rock a lot of people in for this event who just completely connect with the vibe that this place. So that's why I say, I think this is gonna grow into one of the biggest VW events around because all the ingredients are there for that to happen. So I'm gonna take a look around, show what's going on. And I also should just mention as well, Mon Jod, whole VW scene is coalescing around these guys. So let's check it out, let's see what's going on because the VW scene, you just get that vibe, you get that different way of doing things, you get people going their own way in life. That's what that car is all about and it'll completely blend with this place. You always expect something a bit extra from the Moon Eyes boys and this is pretty nice. Hot rod style, VW Beetle jacked right down. Well, in fact, there's not a lot of VW Beetle left. It's not just a lowered roof. Everything has been lowered down. And these guys always go a bit extra. They've got an absolute patina. Child's VW there. The van has been done in the same style. And I like these kind of bullet holes into the car. I'm not sure whether someone's actually shot bullets in or hammered holes in. It actually looks like proper bullet holes. Looks quite cool, adds to the whole effect. In the back end, we've still got an air-cooled VW engine, but that's been chromed up pretty nicely. This Mark 1 Sirocco is one of the best builds I have seen in a long, long time. I see it at a few events, and I think it came to Classic Revival. Looks absolutely stunning in this blue, and it's clearly been a ground-up build. And since I saw it last, I'm sure these wheels are new. The fitment, they're just standing proud. It looks great. But what I never noticed before on this car, in fact, it's got a complete race focused inside. The cockpit is stripped out. It's got bucket seats, sabelt harnesses. It's got a half cage and it's got a race fuel tank in there as well. This whole thing has been built track focus so not is it only crazy rare there's just like two or three of these mark one sirocco's come to events and he's absolutely perfect in immaculate it's also built for the track this unquestionably is one of the best beetle builds i have seen in my whole life i've just walked around it and i'm amazed at the detailing on it so i'm going to walk back again and just show you a few of these details what I really like straight away is these period skis. Wooden, and you can see all the varnishes coming off. How you could imagine half a century ago, people went skiing on a Beetle. Fantastic. Then it's got the D plate on here. And these exhaust tips are absolutely lavish the way they come and flare out. Really what you expect of a Beetle from that era. 
Then we look at down the side at some of the details. This tray clipped on the window for the French fries and the Coke and the burger. That's such America of the period. Absolutely fantastic. It's jacked right down and it's got a lot of alloy trims and alloy details on it. This spring thing here, I have no idea what it does at all. Steel wheels with these chrome caps on look fantastic. And this aerial that's bolted in here again, looks amazing and all these little detailed chrome bits on it. The front window hinged open, looks fantastic. And again, round the front, Look at the badging here and this like plane. It's very American of the 60s, 70s, diner style. It's got another deflector, plastic clear deflector there. And all the details like the mirror, this trim, this indicator light, the headlamp bezel, all chromed out beautifully. And the headlight is blacked out, another nice detail. That is one of the most amazing beetles you will meet ever polished completely i feel like a fear of touching it absolutely one of the best beetles you are going to see in your life there's so many transporters there's so many type twos here and you would expect that but really i think my favorite so far is this that absolutely looks fantastic from every angle the white the patina Everything going on there just works exactly. It's jacked down, the wheels fit. Everything about that absolutely stands out. And then just look around, man. It's about vans and we have vans everywhere. This guy has just pulled up and this looks as original as you can imagine. No door card going on there at all, as you would expect. Absolutely original and how you feel the type 2 scene it just hasn't changed in a half a century and that is kind of the appeal there but let's just go back to this again i absolutely love this the detailing the spotlights with the covers these indicator lenses are cracked and chipped the headlights are yellowing a little bit he's got a st christopher on there that used to be a thing in the day and an rac as well that is absolutely beautiful i love that completely this sun visor going on he's got the usual things hanging off the rear view mirror man for me this absolutely hits the nail on the head this rolled squid basically they press it out flat it's one of the most popular foods in thailand and when you've got a guy selling that off the back of a vespa with the charcoal pot there you know you're at a different kind of event a different vibe going on and again look at this lambretta with a long wheelbase and he is selling meat i think it's like the intestine stuff going on that i always avoid to so lay that out on a complete table this is different these people are going their own direction. At a VW event, you're going to have the jumble. You're going to have the people throwing up the booze and selling all sorts of stuff. And just look at these are amazing. The roof racks and the boot racks. And he's got all the bases covered, all the shapes and sizes going on here. That is absolutely amazing. And that is what you're going to get at a VW event. I don't know what half these parts are, but you can see he's reproducing stuff. In fact, it looks like we've got cup holders there done in a 50 year old style. That's really, really cool. This guy here is selling secondhand shoes. This guy here is selling t-shirts. And man, look at the rust on that. That is absolutely beautiful. For me, that is just beautiful completely. And we're gonna have every shape and size of VW parts on sale here tonight. We've got everything going on here. All your accessories, door handles, buttons, badges, of course, the center of steering wheels, brake lights, tail lights. Man, we have got everything going on with this guy here. He's going to go home with a few sails. And again, here we've got carburetors, we've got headlights, that looks like a dynamo there as well. Over here as well, and more and more stuff. So he's just going to have this all day. Second handle, they actually look like new speedometers and gauges. 
and they've got more going on here man this is going to be thriving when the light goes down the beers come out and people's wallets get going and here we have even in my ignorance beetle front wings got a lot more secondhand parts going on here fuel tank going there sun visor going on petrol caps man wheels as well porsche logos completely and of course look at this convertible that has been done beautifully the finish in that two-tone and these chrome trims and this brown interior that feels i don't know it feels like something from the 50s really stately something touring wise almost american and i like this detail down the boot as well and here we have more secondhand stuff and this is going to be the story all night here a lot of booze already there's more booze than i would expect at a specialist event and that really says what the vw scene is all about it's big it's booming and people are engaged and people are always on the hunt for parts looks amazing it goes on all the way down here but i'm getting hammered by the music so i'm just going to stop at this point and just peek in this type 2 engine bay that is absolutely immaculate and again this is what i really love about this scene this van looks like it hasn't been touched since the data was new you whip up the engine cover and there is a completely reworked unit sitting in there that you wouldn't know unless you got down on your knees and had a look i'm just going to take a small break from vws a nip round underneath the train markets dakota and just show you this mustang because this mustang is absolutely fantastic just look at that i know we're at a vw event and i want to stay focused but that is worth a very quick look around that is absolutely stunning the work the restoration on that it is perfect that is absolutely amazing you try and get your better view where the sun comes out and i mean you can't miss the pony the 390 and the gt on it man that is that is as good as it gets and that is a good diversion from vws when i say you can buy everything you can buy everything this guy is selling dashboards reconditioned completely fitted out with all the gauges and switches in fact to be honest i could hang that on the wall as an ornament as i haven't got a vw i nearly missed this tucked away it's a boo selling stuff but you can see the classic multicolored vw livery on this golf and it's got the ultra rare bare alloys on it as well that is very very cool tucked right away in the corner is this type 2 and it is completely cheeky this is original and as rotten as it gets everywhere is rusting off this scuttle this a pillar is disappearing before my eyes i like this cheeky kind of scotch tape bandage stuck on here as well and the rust this mesh is all broken up completely and all the details he's got a dice in the window he's got the afro going on there the stickers he's been to all the events and in fact it's a booth and round the side here man the paint is disappearing fast i like this it's got the shield over the headlight the indicator lens is broken away that bumper is rotting completely there's patches of paint gone everywhere that is quite cool that's quite funny and quite cheeky common gears are really popular in thailand there's a big industry building them up on beetle chassis there's quite a few companies doing it and i really like this color here and the way it works with the chrome in the dying light of the day i have no idea whether it's an original color or not but that really works very well although the focus of the evening is going to be on the air cooled the type twos the beetles that kind of thing we've got a lot of contemporary cars here and here we've got a big row of golfs and jettas all kind of customized and detailed up got a vr6 there it's nice and here i like this jack down with the words on the tires as well very nicely done that roof rack on it 
It's got the Lego pull handle, it's a fashion. And here we have a GTI with, with two tailgate spoilers on it. Be patient, I'm a lowered car. Yeah, that is jacked right down on air. That is very, very nice with the smoke lights as well. And then we have got a string of wagons here as well. Oh, with the roof racks thing going on. One of my favorite builds on the modified car scene is this Beetle from Oyster Garage. It's completely mental. It's a build with no expense spared and nothing has been retained from the original. Apart from that outline shape, I mean, look at this crazy winglet on the top of the wing here. And then these wheels, these disc brakes on the back. And this gigantic rear wing with Porsche on it. Then on the ducktail, he's put a cheeky RWB underneath. It's all cut out for waste saving. It's got a K-series engine in the back of that. It's absolutely amazing when you see inside. And the way that has all been braced out, and it's got a Perspex rear window, which is opened up. And in fact, you can see the engine in there as well. This is absolutely mental, completely. And you can see these big Rocket Bunny style extensions. He's got all this aero going on here vented discs brembo brakes on it that is completely and utterly mental i see it a lot it's always worth a look no surprise we've got a herbie beetle going on here you would expect to find that here but we've also got a baby herbie going on as well that's the thing with vw owners they're always kind of having a laugh <laughs> I like this rather cheeky RWB wannabe beetle. It's quite neat. I like this gray a lot as well. He's got a, like a lip spoiler going on here. And these dive plates are really cheeky. They're actually really small. They're about six centimeters long. Carbon fiber effect. It's quite nice though. I like the details the owner's gone to with this as well. These chrome wheels and the chrome wheel trim quite nice it's got Porsche branded seats inside and look at this rear spoiler as well I mean I gotta watch what I say here now or I'm gonna be having Porsche purists on my back and underneath here we've got another RWB as well and the whole thing is built really really nicely that is quite funny and to be honest I'm not gonna say anything but you know the inference I am thinking here this belongs to one of the most famous Thai car collectors, but he will never speak on my videos at all. So I'll try and photobomb him later, but I don't think I'll have any luck. I've been trying for years, but this is really, really nice. It actually looks very original, very originally done with some neat detailing. The light's fading now. It's coming up to 6.30. The sun has long since disappeared behind Seacon Square and the VWs are rolling in, in their dozens. There's hundreds of cars here already, and they keep on arriving non-stop. This place is gonna get packed out tonight. This is turning into a big, big event. I'm gonna show you this car because clearly the owner of this one is into the rat rod thing. He's put the definition that's whipped straight out of the dictionary. Noun, fun, low budget, traditional, rusty, patina hot rods built with junkyard parts. Built to drive, not show. This thing, let's look around it because it's completely mental. Look at the way it's cut out the bonnet here. Completely patina, look. And it is right down on air. And even the hubcap is completely rotted away. The wheel behind looks like it's been touched up and refurbished, but the hubcap is completely rotten. But I'm gonna show you the back end because the back end you haven't seen before. And when you think you've seen everything there is to see on a Beetle, and every kind of irony, every joke, every little innovation. I have never seen this before. He's taken the engine bay cover, which is as rotten and as rusty as anything, and cut it out like a set of teeth, like a mouth with the engine behind. And again, you can see this is down on air. 
He's got a Volkswagen, he's a rich man's toy, which I wouldn't always say is the case. But in the case of this car, very much so, because this has spent quite a lot of money to get this looking like that. And I mean, look at the camber and the way that is jammed in there and all the paintwork missing away and rotten. I think it's pretty epic. This is nothing new. You've seen it on a lot of my videos if you follow my channel over the past few years. But I really like it. This martini wrap really works on the Carmen gear. Looks great. Martini for me absolutely does it. You put it on anything and it adds something extra. We've got the Homer Simpson thing going on on this blog, and this guy's got a bit of a sense of humor. I'm not really sure I should point that out on YouTube where well, I can get away with it. But anyway, we've got like a dollar with Rusty Buck on it. On the top, we've got Simpson's Bug Family. And we've got the man himself in the windows. This guy's got like a little bit of humor going on here. This beetle has got the load thing going on. We've got old suitcases, we've got tarpaulin sheets, we've got cups and pans hanging off the rear rack. A window full of stickers and the roof rack. It's quite rare to see a Mark 1 Cabrio Golf in Thailand and this one looks pretty original as well. Looks really nice in this green. I had to look closely to see where this was painted or wrapped. Looks really, really nice. And I like these steel wheels as well. And I like this ride height. It's got a really nice fitment going on there. But these steel wheels painted in the same green as the car looks really, really nice. Give us a kind of an authentic period feel. Okay, stay tuned to my channel because there is one garage I need to visit this year. And I have been wanting to visit for years, but I've never quite found the time because they're not quite in Bangkok. They're up, up in Kong Ken this garage CB custom stay tuned because I am going to get there this year I promise myself for sure and you're going to be blown away Swadi uh, hello my name is uh, Chok Chai Wadi Skun I am is, uh, from uh, CB custom Thailand yeah I is a custom builder is uh, lower the car Volkswagen I keep saying you see everything on a Beetle Beetle owners go their own way, but look at these hoosiers on this beetle. Man, that is some tire wall, that is bulging out. So what can you say about that? Type two pickup, completely restored in pink and white. Man, that is absolutely full on. It is a beautiful job. It's got like a beige cloth interior, white dashboard. Everything looks like new. The finish is absolutely amazing, but that is so much pink going on. And the back end, this is a quality, quality build. Looks amazing. Drop down looks fantastic. And look at all that white going on in that deck. And for sure, nothing has been put on that deck. That is an absolute amazing restoration. The detail and the work that has gone into that is fantastic. But man, that pink takes a bit of getting used to. This Jetta wagon is well worth a look. I really like this kit and this is right down on there. There's actually a black lip spoiler here sitting on the ground. I don't think you're going to see it in the dark. CR wheels, absolutely fantastic finish on this. I love this front here. And I kind of like where it's been done on the sunroof, like this roof rack. But these wheels are fantastic. I absolutely love them. Split rim, we got the Porsche logo in the middle, Porsche inspired wheels. And that is so down on air. You can see the wheels marked and this is all broken up and has been touched up with paint. This has been pushed so hard, as you do now when you slam your car, breaks all the paintwork off. This feels really kind of 90s with this integrated composite bumper spoiler grill going on on the front here. And then round the side, we've got BBS. You cannot go wrong with BBS, but I'm just gonna show you the back. He's had a sunroof there, but that's vanished at some point. It's a very period giant whale tail on the back. But this bumper on the back here, 
and then these twin exits on either side with the exhaust and the pipes going here. Man, there's a lot of tubing going on on this back end. I need to get my head round where the bumper ends and the exhaust pipe starts. That is the biggest rack you are ever going to see on the back of a Beetle. In fact, I'm not even sure it's a rack. It looks like an aerodynamic aid, something crazy like that. It looks like something that Adrian Newey designed when he found a grey area in the regulations and went OTT. That is absolutely huge. And I like this whole car, all the stickers in the window. It's got a taxi sign on the front. <laughs> I'm not going to